Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of August 24th, 2020. Every week we chat about things parents are talking about, complaining about, and obsessing about right now. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. This week we are complaining about parenting kids of a certain age and obsessing about the benefits of hitting the half-century mark. We're also taking a couple of breaks for an entertainment discussion and a recommendation roundup. Today, we're talking about two kinds of kids, barnacles and bolters. Uh, We saw a tweet this week from Today's Parent magazine that said, There are two kinds of kids, the barnacles who remain obediently by their parents' side, and the bolters who take off. Do you guys have any thoughts about your kids and whether they were barnacles or bolters? I I mean, my son physically was a bolter in that if you put him down, he would be gone, uh, which is why he was strapped in a stroller for much of his younger years. (laughs) And I guess my daughter was always much more cautious, so she was probably um, more of a barnacle. But things were a little complicated with them and their particular special needs, so... I don't know if I might have to think about this a little bit. Uh, Catherine, did you notice a difference in your kids between these two things? Yeah. I mean, my older one, who also happens to be my girl, um, was definitely more of a barnacle. And my little one was, my son was more of a bolter. Like he Again, he was in the stroller, like you said. Mm -hmm. Um, And we even got one of those backpack leash deals for him. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, You know, where it's like a cute little stuffed animal backpack, but, oh, it also has a strap that it's attached to do Yes. (laughs) So you don't feel so bad. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't have the nerve to use one of those, so I just kept him strapped into a stroller until he was like, you know, (laughs) but... Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I, I I don't think it's really fair to call my daughter a barnacle. Like she wasn't, you know, she didn't have to like constantly be carried or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, she was more like, like what's isn't there a nurse shark where like the the fish <laughs> swims next to the other other fish all the time? Oh, yeah, I don't know which one is the nurse and which one is the you know is the nurse shark the the one who assist, assists, or is it the one? I don't know. Whatever. We have no actual idea yeah, what you're talking I don't know about. What I'm so talking whatever about you either. Think. But basically, she would just <laughs> swim along right there, and you didn't have to worry uh-huh. too much. You didn't have to worry too much about her um, bolting. So yeah, That's but funny. I mean the 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 leash thing. Like it shouldn't be such a stigma, honestly, because sometimes no, it's necessary. It really yeah, mm-hmm. especially when they don't want to sit in a stroller like my kids. <laughs> <laughs> my kids were never stroller kids. Uh-huh. They were, but I had one who was very much a barnacle. <laughs> mm. That one, but it wasn't because of, her, uh, you know, nature. It was because of attachment. <laughs> Uh, Mm -hmm. like, you know, there was just no, um, there was no, I don't know, what would you say? It wasn't choice. Mm. (laughs) It was, it was a, a, a physiological need or, or psychological need. Um, so yeah, that, you know, very much so. And so the stroller was not an option at all. The other one (laughs) was also a barnacle, but by choice. Mm. So, so I had two barnacles <laughs> and, <laughs> um, and, and both, yeah, very different reasons why. But in terms of using the, uh, strap, you know, to keep them near you, mm-hmm. I mean, we use that several times, uh, especially when we were traveling and in airports mm-hmm. because, yeah. I mean, this, like I said, the stroller was not an option for whatever reason. It was not appealing to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, when they're like one and two, they don't want to be carried. They don't want to be, no. 
you, and they, you know, they want to get down and explore and you need mm-hmm. to stretch their legs before a 13 hour flight. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, so it kind of gave us the freedom to let them walk with us in large crowds. And right. still, and be safe, right? So, yeah. But we didn't have the backpack option at that time. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I don't know. It was just like the regular strap them like in the and wrist, <laughs> the wrist strap thing. It was this one was actually like a backpack, but without the backpack. <laughs> it was like a full on body brace, <laughs> <laughs> like a harness so, that you would have for you. Yeah, it was a harness. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely a harness. Um, so it's kind of interesting because, uh, yeah, so yeah, like I said, they, they were barnacles, but for different reasons. Which, mm. And now the one who, you know, oops. is your dog a barnacle? Or a <laughs> oh, my goodness. This one here is like, I don't know what she is, but um, <laughs> but now it's funny because. Now they've like kind of switched roles because the one who was like the barnacle by, you know, need, <laughs> um, that one is just always gone and off you know, traveling, um, mm-hmm. off taking road trips, off at university. <laughs> and the one who was, you know, secure and attached and, and was happy to come and go, but, you know, sort of stayed the other one I was describing doesn't want to doesn't want to leave now. <laughs> doesn't want to is very much a, a homebody and very much wants to be close to close to family and nearby and and uh, was very reluctant to to branch out. So it's kind of funny because they've switched they've switched roles. So yeah. yeah, but I have to say the one that has surprised me the most is is the one who was you know. You know the, wouldn't leave my side until the age of like sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't didn't want to go but to camp, didn't want to do sleepovers, nothing and stuff, right? N- never no. did a sleepover, never like was not an option, and um, yeah, and camp was never an option. Mm. Um, even just going to other people's homes was, you know, was maybe. It was very limited at best. So, yeah. And now, I don't know. <laughs> Never see it again. <laughs> this description is making me think about what an extreme bolter I was as a kid and young adult. Right. You, you were. moved halfway across I was. the country. <laughs> I super yeah. was. I yeah. couldn't wait. I wanted to go to camp, and I wanted to go to the longest camp there was. And, of course, <laughs> then I called and said, can I come home? But... You know, I had that instinct to go away, even though I had a good relationship with my parents. I just was always, what is the most extreme thing I can do? Really? <laughs> yeah. I was wow. I was out there. I mean, I don't remember if physically, if we were walking through the mall, if I would stay by my mom or run off. But I, you know, I wanted to go do that. I wound up on the other side of the country from my family. So that's, that's bolting pretty far. Yeah. And I did it once before that, and then I went back, but. Um, my kids, you know, in, in terms of, of that sort of lifestyle thing, they're both barnacles. They're both still living at home. They're probably going to be living at home for a long time. Um, and, uh, they're pretty much stuck to the side of the ship for sure. My, my one who was more of a bolter at one point said that he would be going to college somewhere where it was seven airplane rides away. <laughs> seven. Yes. Okay. Somewhere that it took. Is that even possible? Seven. No, I don't think it is. Who's going to be paying for those flights? Yeah. Sure, kid. <laughs> Start earning your frequent fly- flyer miles now, man. He was not planning to stick around at all. Was that just because he likes airplanes? Well, that may have been part of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but there was definitely also a desire to get out of Dodge. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> Honestly, that's the way I was too. But my dad pretty much put a circle on a map and said, "This is your, <laughs> this, this is, is how your far you can go, and you will not." <laughs> yep, this is what I will pay for. Yeah. Um, make your choice. So I think I I pushed the circle on the radius as far as I could, and that was about as about what I could do at that point. What about you, Catherine? What'd you do? Um, well, 
the summer before I went to college, my parents moved across country. Um, Mm -hmm. And so that was sort of in the works as I was applying to college. So at the last minute, I, I, my parents moved from Pennsylvania to California. And so um, at the last minute, I applied to a school in California, just, just so that that would be an option. Uh Mm -hmm. But I decided to go to school in Pennsylvania, (laughs) even Mm -hmm. though my parents had now moved 3000 miles Mm -hmm. away. So (laughs) yeah. And then I pretty much never, never went back. I mean, I spent a couple summers with them, but that was it. Then I was, I was gone. (laughs) That was it. You were done. Yes. So shall we bolt on out of here and (laughs) <laughs> come back tomorrow for our entertainment themed round two and later in the week to find out what we're complaining about obsessing about and recommending right now we're always interested in what you have to say so drop us a comment on our website our facebook page or twitter where you'll find us at roundabout chat <laughs> <laughs>